All right, so uh, th I kind of came up with this, uh, this video idea um, just because a lot of the times I usually do the double undercut when I'm controlling cards to the top, and I've noticed it's got a little bit repetitive, and I haven't really taught another um, another card control. So what I figured I'd do is teach you guys um, just a few other things you can do in order to control cards to the deck. So these are uh, three really easy ones um, that you guys can learn right now. So. The first one is called the Bluff Pass, and this isn't really necessarily like a card control, but it can be used like one. So in this case, let's say, uh, let's say we have the spectator. Let's say they picked the queen, the queen of hearts, for example. And now what you would do is the pass looks kind of like this. You have the spectator choose the card. They say stop. Wherever they say stop, you pick up the deck, and then you put the card here. Comes from the middle, and then what you can do is also give the deck another shuffle, and it looks like the card is getting mixed up. But in reality, um, those two moves have actually moved the card to the top. So um, this is how it's going to work. So basically, uh, let's say the card's here. This is the one they chose. All you're doing is you're pushing over the top card after they've chosen this card, let's say. And you have the pinky break here. And you go ahead and you tell them, say stop whenever you want. And wherever they say stop, you leave the deck open just like this. And then you come over with your right hand as if you're going to grab the cards from here. But in reality, you're just going to be grabbing the top cards. So really, your thumb hits the back. So I use like the middle part of my thumb here. And the front of my hand is now covering up the deck. At this, at this moment, I let go with my thumb, pull up just one card. And if you're doing this smoothly, the spectators aren't really, they're not really going to notice that you're only picking up one card, especially if you have the front covered up like that. So from here you can have the spectator go ahead and put the card on top and then what you do from here is you just cover the deck back up with your hands like that and then what you could do is riffle starting from the middle of the deck with your index kind of placing it down so it would look somewhat like this the card goes on top you flip it over you place it on top and you riffle from the middle so that way it looks like um, you know you've actually put down an entire group of cards here so at this point, the spectator's card is on top, and then all I did was a double undercut, moving the bottom card to the bottom, or the top card to the bottom. So you push over with your thumb, get a pinky break, and then I'm also going to be teaching the double undercut later on in the video, but essentially you just do a double undercut, and now you have moved their card to the top. So this next one I'm going to be teaching you is something I don't do too much, and I haven't really showed on this channel before mainly because on video you can pick this up but if you're doing this in person there's no way the spectator is going to call you out so let's say you would have the spectator tell you when to stop as you're dribbling down the pack they say stop right here and let's say we have the ten of clubs so essentially it looks like this the ten of clubs stays somewhere in the middle of the deck and then what you could do is shuffle up the pack and move it to the top so like I said before um, this I don't like doing this on camera too much only because it's really easily spotted but if you're in a crowd or you're doing this to somebody else they're not really gonna notice so let's say you're dribbling down the pack what happens is is wherever they say stop this is actually a free choice let's say we have the king of diamonds here what you're doing is when you flip that card over you are now dribbling the cards a little bit offset so when you're dropping the cards on the deck um, you're starting off right around here so you dribble the cards so they land somewhat off center as you can see and now obviously this is exaggerated but what you're doing is as the deck here's the break that you need to get to so if it's broken here you just kind of pull up and now you have a thumb break right at the spectator selection I'll show you guys here we have the king of diamonds and then from here what you can do is as long as your as your pinky break isn't too noticeable from the uh, from any other angle of the deck you can kind of hold the deck in your hands for a second and, and if the whole point of the trick is you getting the card lost, don't really mention that you're going to be getting the card lost in the deck. Just kind of talk to the spectator and say you know you could have picked any card. And you pick up, and now what you're doing is as you're talking to them, so you're looking them in the eyes, they're not going to be looking at you, you pick up the cards from the break, you use these three fingers. Okay, so this is still a mechanic script. You use these three fingers to push down. It's hard to do this slowly, but you're just pushing down, pulling this deck back. Okay, so you can use your pinky as well. And you're just kind of plopping the deck up. And what happens is, is once with motion, you plop the deck up. And then you start to overhand shuffle the top deck. So it's really simple. Prop the deck up. Overhand shuffle. And you do this as you're talking to the spectator. They're not going to notice 
And at this point, you've now moved their card to the top. And then last but not least, I will show you guys the double undercut just in case anybody is still kind of iffy on what that is. Um, this is why I put this last because I know a lot of you already know, you know what this is. So basically, the double undercut is the most... Um, I would say not even the most overused, but pretty much just worldwide, this is kind of the control that everybody uses in any trick a lot of the time. So let's say we do take this King of Diamonds, the Spectator. Um, the Spectator can give you the card back. You say, look, I'm going to put it into the middle of the deck. You can show them it is actually in the middle. And then you square it up by pushing that card downward with your thumb, pushing it in at the same time, closing it, and now you have a thumb break here. You're holding the cards with your thumb at the bottom and these fingers up at the top and now you take your left hand you use your pinky to take half of the cards below the break move those to the top and then the rest of the cards from the break with your pinky and now you've controlled this card to the top once more and uh, actually one more that I want to go into um, this is going to be a tabled a tabled control I actually just thought about this now but um, this is only going to work out if you do have a table. So let's say the spectator's card again is, let's say, the king of diamonds. You can tell the spectator to put the card anywhere they want into the middle. So let's say they were to put it right here. And then you, what you can do is leave it out jogged a little bit. And you can show them, look, your card really is in the middle of the deck. And then what you do from here is while the card is still out jogged, you leave the cards on the table uh, horizontal to you. So that should be the long sides are like this, kind of like landscape. And you say, like, I'm going to go ahead and leave your card in the middle of the deck. Well, what you're doing is you are, and I'll show you guys fast motion, you're putting the card into the middle but sliding it back out. So as you, can, as you guys can see, the card's now out jogged from the side. And I'll push this up vertical so you guys can see the different angle. So now you have this card that is now out jogged. And this card is actually going to be the King of Diamonds, as you guys can see. So one more time, let's go and I'll show you. How to do that so that's basically the entire move the cards here you say look I'm gonna go ahead and place your card into the middle and now what you've done is move their card to the bottom so I'll go ahead and explain that really quick uh, the king of diamonds is here it goes in the middle and the best way to do this is by having the card let's say if you're right-handed it, it can be sticking out on the right all you're doing is you're pushing your left hand towards the deck but your right hand is gonna be coming at an angle so your right hand is coming uh, down towards this corner. So what happens is, is you're hitting this corner of the card, pushing this in, and this is going to cause the card to, as you can see, to come a little bit out jogged. And now what you do from here is with the cards on the table, you're applying pressure downwards with your index finger, pulling up with your left thumb. So as you apply downwards, you're grabbing this entire packet here. Your right hand is going to grab the bottom packet with your thumb and your middle finger. And all you have to do is cut these cards. And then you can do you could do a divern and cut, or you could just kind of control the cards back up to the top, and now you have the King of Diamonds.